Well, welcome back, folks, on the beach. I ain't been on the beach for so long. I've been concentrating for quite a long time on the Sea Anglin Classic 2022. That's now gone past, uh, come 29th. So I'm back on the beach. I really have missed being on the beach, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so where am I? Some of you may have guessed, actually, where I am. Um, on the, obviously in the video before this. Um, Southbourne. Blustery though, very blustery. There's sand kicking up everywhere here. But nevertheless, we're here. And to be honest with you, I'm just glad to be out. Really am glad to be out. Target species, well, being it's rough, I'm not, I'm not expecting the sole. That's what I was really after, it was the sole and some rays. But you just don't know, do you? You just don't know. So um, yeah, I don't know if you can see in the background, it's pretty, pretty choppy. Bait wise, got some lovely rag. Nice handfuls of lovely rag. Koshimanglin, got that from. Um, yeah, supplied some nice bait there actually, to be fair. Um, I'd like to have a little bit smaller worm if I can, but this time of year there's a lot of big worm around and you can only get what you can get. But it's worm, I'll take it. Happy days, isn't it? Other baits with me. A good old frozen mackerel. Some of that. Locally sourced sand eels. Check out my video about how to get sand eels in a trawl net. I'll put it in the link actually. And something I sort of got out of the freezer, which looks like a bit of a manky old squid to be fair. It's a little bit, well, red past its date. But anyway, after taking it, I'm going to give it a go. And uh, yeah, I suppose with the surf around, maybe pick up a bass with a bit of luck to be fair. There's a few anglers turning up now. Um, hopefully, like me, just want to be out here, to be fair. It's a gorgeous evening, you know, sun-wise, it really is. Anyway, rig-wise, let's talk about rigs. I'm going really heavy on the weights. You know I love a Lumi lid. So a Lumi lid, it is about an eight ounce, that one. And then again, another eight ounce, Gemini, non-lumi. But I'm going heavy, there's quite a bit of surf, as I said, and you can see it. So I'm gonna go in heavy for that, make sure I lock down. Rig-wise, so I'm going for two hook clip down. And I'm just looking myself. So Gemini, swivel at the top, I don't know if you can see those. The old electrical connections for electrical ends that I use just to crimp onto the line. Beads, another small Gemini swivel, a spring, bead, another uh, electrical connection. And about, the top one is about, oh, I suppose 40, no, 12, 12 to 13 inches, something like that. And then the very bottom hook, I'm going for just a small sort of nine inches, somewhere around that, I suppose, trace on that. So you can nail it to the bottom. It's not waving around too far, because obviously the longer length of trace you've got, the more round it's going to go like that. So keep it nice and tight. So any turbulence out there, which we're going to have, it's only going to be a small arc. So that's the theory anyway. That's the theory. So it's not going to be all over the place. And that's what I'm going to use for the soles. Size for hook there. Um, yeah, got those from um, Quality Time Fish and Tackle. Check them out. Good website, some good gear, very helpful. And the second rig, which would be for the, the sort of uh, the rays and the like, let's just untangle it there. Well, I haven't set up the actual hook snood yet, but. I'm just going for um, a pulley dropper. So I'm using a Gemini pulley, Gemini swivels, bead, with the, um, oh my God, brain, brain freeze, trident, end piece. So uh, yeah, give it a go. 
I'm going to probably use about a size 3 hook with that. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Well, first off, I think I'm going to use uh, sand deal and um, mackerel wrap. So, got a fairly decent sand deal, got my bait loader, stainless steel, just plonk it on top there. Nice and easy, get away fly, thank you very much. And there it is, lay it in there. I've cut some mackerel already, just a little bit of belly. Place it on top, and it's just a matter of wrapping it round, like so. I do prefer the belly, to be honest with you, more so than any part of the other, or the belly flap, I should say, more so than the other parts of the mackerel. I don't know why. I think maybe because it's a slightly tougher portion of the uh, mackerel and it's just easier to mess about with. Again, some people cut the tails off the sand deal. I don't bother. But anyway, there we go. All ready to be uh, hooked up and lobbed out there. Let's go and do it, eh? Just taking the mackerel off the uh, off the bait loader. As I say, it's pretty windy out here. Hopefully, you you won't be hearing the wind too much. I shall put my back to it, and uh, just a matter of feeding it on now. It's a nice bit of bait. To be fair, that locally sourced sandal is is superb. It's fresh. You can't get much fresher than this. You really can't. Um, I'm very fortunate, obviously. Some people are not in that position, but if you live by the sea and you live by uh, where people go bass fishing, you might be worth asking some of the local fishermen if you can buy some, maybe not necessarily live sand eels, but maybe at the end of their day, when their sand eels have gone dead, you can buy them off them. Right, let's get it all loaded. And I said, this one is going to be the pulley dropper. I think that wind's increasing. There we go, give the old hands a wipe and uh, we'll send it out there. We'll just set the reel up, I'm not set it up yet. Got a nice bit of drag on it. I've only got my light surf reels, my slight surf salt reels. I have brought my uh, pen surf glasses with me just in case. Right, we're ready to rumble. Obviously this time of year there's a few dogs around, well dog walkers obviously, dogs, just keeping an eye on the bait, everything else, 
I tend to, obviously, it's always good practice not to leave too much line around. I'll keep my bait in the uh, tripod's uh, basket. And we're fishing. Well, I've had a little bit of a Brucey bonus. I reeled in my mackerel and my uh, sand dill, just thought because there was quite a bit of uh, weed on it, it's looking like a bit of a washing line. And uh, yeah, Brucey bonus. Picked up another rig. Happy days. It's like your own little treasure, isn't it, eh? When you pick one something up. Anyway, now here's something for you. Question. Let me know in the comments. On that rig, that's a, a shoal bass. Probably about three quarters of a pound, somewhere around that. Now, is that a blank or is that a fish caught? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, there was a load of line with it. I've bagged it up. It's in the bag. I'll dispose of it later on. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Is it, as I said, a blank or not? I'd be interested to know what you think. Anyway, yet to catch a fish on my line. Well, I've actually caught my first fish on my line. So it's a little bit different actually. I definitely wasn't expecting one of these. But that's sea fishing, you never know what's going to turn up. Let me have a show. Well, there we go. A little tub gurnard. Only very dinky. But there we are. Something a little bit different. That's what we like. Look at the blue little tippy wings. It looks like it's going to fly, doesn't it? Anyway. I'm going to get it back in the bucket. It's only very small, but absolutely a welcome to see. Oh, sorry, fishy. Let's put him back. He's in the bucket. He's all right. Yeah, he's good as gold. Anyway, a little tub gurnard. Happy days. Nice little difference of species. Is it going to be one of those nights? Could be all different tonight. Who knows? Anyway, let's get back to fishing. Well, I think I've got a bit of a washing line going on on my uh, rod with the uh, ragworm on and a little bit of a squid tip on it. It's been bouncing a little bit. You never know, you might pick up a little bass and not know you've even got it on. So let's see what happens. There's definitely a lot of weed. Get the old lead out of the surf. I'm going to clean some of this weed off. Just give me the run around. Just going to be one of those days or evenings, I think, with a little bit of weed here and there. Clean it off and get back out there. There's been quite a lot of weed around now for some time. And you ain't going to believe this. I didn't realise I've got a double shot. I'm just going to put them in the bucket. And then I'll give him a show. I've 
just unclipped them. And I've got a nice little double shot. Happy days. Let's get them on the seat down. Let's spin you round so you can see me. And I'll show you the little double shot I've got. So. Come a little place. Look at that. Double shot of place. Only little dinky ones. A bit bigger in your hand, maybe. Anyway, I'm getting back in the water. I really should get some glasses. I thought I had a bit of a plastic bag. They belly up. Ugh. Rubbish. Rubbish getting old. Anyway, let's get back to the water and get the old bait back out there and see what else comes up. Will that sole turn up? Mmm, yeah, that'd be good. That would be good. A nice sole. Well, it's flattened off slightly, more so than it was, and it's slowly getting better. So, so far, is a tub gurnard and a double shot of place. Now, I'm more than happy with that, to be honest with you. But the night is young, it's just starting to uh, go to dusk, and will the soul make a show? Let's hope so. Well, look what I've got. A couple of soul. Happy days. Look at that. Only little slips, but two soul. And they were double shot as well. In the bucket they go. A double shot of soul. So it's a double shot of yeah, double shot of soul. And place, double shot, and a tub gurnard. And it's not even dark, but it's getting there. Are the soul going to come up even more? Am I going to get some big ones? Who knows? But I'm absolutely over the moon with the fishing so far. I just wasn't expecting this. Being that it was a little bit choppy and rough, I just wasn't expecting it to be so good. But just, you just don't know, do you? Just don't know. Anyway, I want to get the soul back. I want to catch them with about two and a half pounds. Then that'd be nice. Well, folks, it's dark and I'm still picking up the place. Look at those little beauties. Just, a, just about the size of your palm of your hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll, try and, I'll, well, I'll twist it, it'll be coming off, but yeah, there they are. Double shot of those again. There must be loads of these little boys and girls out there. There really must be, but always nice to see. I don't think I've ever caught so many place this time of night I just I just don't you know where we are down in Portsmouth I just don't think I ever have it's always been daylight hours sort of thing but yeah small little place there it's keeping me busy over the moon really to be fair I'm probably gonna get there another hour and that'll be it I feel like I've had a good session so far and it's getting on and not only that I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow morning so I don't want to get to bed too late do I that's really what I don't want to do I don't want to be tired I ain't been tired and fishing so uh yeah let's get back to it well, that's it, folks. Another session done. It's been an absolute brilliant session. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, couldn't ask for better, to be fair. Tub Gurnard, several place, Sol, which is what I've really come for anyway, really. But I didn't think it was going to happen, to be fair, with the way the weather was. But, uh, yeah, couldn't ask for anything better, really. Nothing on the old squid, uh, sorry, the mackerel and the um, sand hill. Nothing at all, not even a touch. It was all on the worm baits. But I'm happy. I'm going to go home now, get rid of all the sand that's in the kit. It is absolutely everywhere in the box. Every sort of nick and cranny you can think of, it's in there, sort of thing. So it's going to be a good wash down with kit when I get home. Well, I'll do it in the morning, not when I actually get home. But uh, yeah, so uh, tight lines, everyone. Hope to see you soon.